Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another update on the Buzzing Bar. And uh, well, it was a week yesterday that I did the uh, the opening. And what a week it's been. Gotta say, it's been full of emotions. It's been like an emotional roller coaster. We had a lot of highs. Uh, fortunately, we've not had that many lows. A lot of learning curves and uh, lots more to come yet ahead. So I thought what I'd do is I thought I'd take this opportunity just to update you on what we've done where we are, I'll explain all that I've been doing, all that's been happening here. And uh, yeah, surprisingly, I've still got a little bit of hair left than I started with, expecting to not have any left, but never mind. And my blood pressure, I don't even want to go down that road. I think it's way, way over the top. But anyway, let me spin the camera around. Now, one of the things that's been a bit of a, a struggling point has been the location in terms of people say, Trev, we can't find you, which I have to say, I find a little bit bewildering. We're here, and if you ever need a landmark, there is Maggie Mays. And Maggie Mays has been in years, years and years. So, you know, it's not somewhere that you should miss, really. And opposite, this is where we are. That is the Buzzing Lounge. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a few changes. What we've done is we've obviously done the stickers on this side. Uh, the sign up there. We're only allowed that sign at the moment, the small round sign. What I'm hopefully going to do is you see here in front, I'm going to get a neon light all the way across there that says Buzzing Lounge in neon at the very, very front. Now in here, obviously, this area we stickered, uh, we did that, and uh, that's a great job, really, really happy with that. Over there, we've got the neon sign. Uh, again, they're gonna have to redo that one, simply because the back there, when we turn it on, it's got the silhouette of the old uh, S1 club. So it didn't really work. <laughs> Basically, it shows half of the buzzing lounge, and it gets down to fun and relaxed, and the rest of it's in darkness, so that didn't work. Uh, the TV here, for now, uh, we're not doing a lot with it. I think it needs a bit of uh, readjusting. If you look at it there, it looks a bit wonky. Not really straight, it's my kind of DIY. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're not doing much with that. Uh, we've got the Buzzing Lounge sign up there. I've been out and got a new neon and open sign, and we're gonna put the back in on that and make it a wooden sign and cover these plugs, because they look pretty, uh, pretty ranked, to be fair. On this TV, for those of you that sit outside and like some people watching, it's a good opportunity, because over there you've got Amon's Bar, Anzac Bar. You've obviously got Maggie Mays I mentioned earlier. And just over there you got the den. So it's a nice place to sit out here. You can sit out here, chill out. There's plenty of fans to uh, keep you cool. And there's a notice board. So if you're walking around, you want to see what's going on, there's the notice board. Now, I'm going to apologise in advance because I'm walking into a herd of uh, cats now. Uh, all the girls are in there getting ready and they're going to be squawking away. But anyway, that's our new buzzing sign. What I am going to do is I'm going to get this, this area here. This is going to be blacked out the same as I did over here. Because one of the problems is people walking up, they see inside there, if no one's playing pool and they're all in so inside, uh, it gives the impression that we're empty. But the reality is, in there, we've got about 12 to 15 girls and customers. So uh, we're not empty, we're not empty. What I'm gonna do is replace these, uh, these fans, because that one there is knackered. That one there is knackered. And uh, these lamps here, these light bulbs, I'm gonna get rid of them. I think that's something that my nan would have had. They don't really look very nice. And in true style, look, there's Kitty. She's late. Uh, I tell them what time to come here, but we're working on it. Anyway, so come up to this notice board. That'll tell you what's going on. Now, here we go. So now, in normal times, in normal times, this isn't like this. Normally, I can't hear myself, so I'm sorry. Girls, you're just a bit loud. Uh, this is the pool table. Uh, the pool table's all right, actually. We've just had it redone, and it's not too bad, to be fair. God, can you hear him? After oh, doing the second day, oh my lord. Girls, girls, join, yen, join, yen. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, no, 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 get. Oh, no. Uh, up here is just an LED screen where I put uh, some of the photos that I've done over the years with the girls all around the different uh, go go bars here, the beer bars and stuff like that. So, uh, and we painted this. This used to be all blue. All the way around here, it used to be blue and we changed it to black and red just to keep the theme going. There's a lot of fans up here and you can see we've also put the neon lights so at night time it really does look better. This doesn't look too clever right now but at night time it glows nicely and up here we've got the pink one. See there up there pink so it's quite nice. Now another situation let me walk back around is when you come through these doors people tend to head towards receptions which is over there straight ahead of us. You actually need to go through those doors on the right side that we're going to go through now. So we're going to go into these doors. This is where it is. This is where we go into the lounge. Now at the moment, 
I've just got one sticker up there, which says Buzzing Lounge. But in here, in here, we, this is what it's all about. So as you can see, inside it's, uh, it's looking good now. We put some extra fans up because uh, it was a bit too uh, warm this side, so we put some more fans. Can you see that up there? You can see that. No, you can't really see diddly pip there, can you? But anyway, there is one there, I promise you. And uh, got a TV screen that plays music non-stop. So as you can see, it's quite long. The bar's quite long. And just on here on the left-hand side, here's our lovely cashier. She takes care of everything for us. There's all our drinks. And uh, we've got Draft Tiger. And we've also got Draft Cider. And, uh, oh look. I'll tell you what, one of the things I've learned over the last uh, week of doing this is the girls getting ready. It's like they get ready. I say, come here for one. They get here for one, <laughs> etc. I say, right. Anyway, let's, uh, so down here, these are all the girls. Hello, girls. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Here we go, sir. So contrary to popular belief, we do have a lot of girls. Hi, B. Hello. B's the mamma san, she's the boss. Come on, come here, come and see me. Come here, come and see me. She said, okay. Yes, come to play pool with me. Now, now, here we go, what a pool player. Come down, guys, check out. If you're any good at pool, and uh, come and see if you're up to standard. We played, how many How many did I beat you by yesterday? Seven, one? Yes. Thank you very much, see? Easy, Ning, Ning was uh, disappointed. So these are the girls, here you go. Yes, yes. Come here, come here. Oh, sorry, sorry, not, sorry, I'm getting told off. No, now. wait, wait, stand. Stand here. Why is, she got, why is she got to stand? Leave her. No. Yes. Oh, All right, okay, right, well, anyway, there you go. Uh, so well, I'll leave you, that's your image. And also what we have got, uh, talking about smoking, we've got these fans and they're really, really good. And what they do is they circulate the air every six minutes, they take all the air out. And you see these, let me just show you here. So on here, these are, I'm not sure we've done this, yeah. So these, see the green light? And what happens in here is this is a cigarette ashtray. They suck in and uh, they take in all the smoke down here and they clean it. So we've done the best we can to make this as uh, environmentally friendly as possible for the smoking situation. But what I'll say is if you do want to smoke, you can. If you want to go outside and smoke, much appreciated, but it's not necessary. You don't have to do that. So there we are. All right, thank you girls. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Oh dear, that's it, they're hard work. I love them all to bits, they're great fun, but man, it's hard work. So that's where we are in terms of the, uh, the aesthetics. You like that word, aesthetics? That's one of my new words. I've just learned that one, aesthetics. That means like the, Ian, what does aesthetics mean? Uh, it means like the look, the beauty, the look. The beauty the yeah. So are you aesthetically pleasant or not pleasant? Not. not pleasant, okay. <laughs> Poor old Ian, he's been running around like a nutcase. All right, let me spin this round. So, oh, and of course the girls got to go and get their food. They're going to have to get their food. So what's it been like? Um, truthfully, truthfully, I was absolutely at my wits end to the start of this. I didn't know what to expect. I was quite uh, nervous. I was quite, not depressed, but I was certainly worried about it. And I was in a situation where I thought, this is going to be really happening. You know, at the end of the day, I've always sold what I call like fresh air. I call it a fresh air sale. When I cleaned windows, it was just a vision. I didn't have to go and buy anything to do anything. I just literally said, look, you want to understand, we'll do that. When I do uh, photography, it's easy. I'm just pressing a button and I'm taking the photos. You know, social media, you're not actually selling a product. Whereas here, I've got to go and buy the stock of the beers, which is, uh, then you've got to think, well, how are you going to sell them? It was quite a worry. I didn't know whether to get draft beer. I didn't know whether to get cider. I wasn't sure what we should have done. Um, you know, Stephen was very good. He guided me a lot through this. But what he also did, which I think at the time I didn't like, I've got to be honest with you, at the time I was quite, I wasn't resentful, but I was questioning in my mind, you know, why have you made me do this on my own? And now looking back, I actually think to myself, he did me a blessing uh, in disguise because now I'm pretty up to speed on what I need to be up to speed with. I'm fairly okay, I've got the ordering sorted out and understand all of that side of things. So I think, although it was a bit of tough love, I think it was good in the end because when I look back now, I think, yeah, I'm happy. I don't have to keep going to Steve and saying, Steve, what about this, Steve, what about that? It was quite easy, so yeah. So we opened, uh, fantastic first night, it really was, we were rammed. Which I guess, you know, to be, to be honest with you, 
a, a lot of opening parties in the city, whenever they open, they normally get quite a good uh, turnout. So that wasn't as much of a shock as I thought it would be, the fact that we did have a lot of people come. And of course, then once the party had gone, it was like, oh man, is anyone going to come back? Uh, so that was on the Thursday. Friday, great. Very, very happy with Friday. We had a good day. Saturday, as you know, last week, uh, we weren't allowed to open. It was a closure day. Then Sunday came. Uh, Sunday was very good. Monday, i got to say, was a very uh, tough day. It was, it was good. We'd done all right, but it was a bit of a tough day. Uh, but Tuesday, nah, Tuesday, we just, that was our lowest day. That was our lowest day. So that's where we are. Um, it's all good. It's all good. I want to just say a massive thank you to everybody that's been and, and uh, visited. You know, I can't thank you guys all enough. Um, the support you've given, not just to the, to the bar, but to the girls as well. You know, you've been fantastic. Uh, the promotion that we uh, are running is, is very, very popular. And if you want to find out more about that, come up and say hello and you'll see what we're doing. But it's very, very popular. Uh, what else is there? Uh, the internet here, the internet here is not very good, hence why my uh, live stream crashed. I'm going to have to get our own server, dedicated server installed. I'll get that done very soon. Uh, what else is there? I think that's about it, really. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. There's not really a huge amount left to do. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me spin this around. Right, so you see where the girls are sat there now, on that low level one. I'm going to make that higher. Uh, you can see over across the road, you see where the gentleman sat there in the Mons bar on that high level seating. I'm gonna do that just to the middle bit. I want the girls to sit up and uh, stand, uh, not sit up, but be seen a bit higher. Because if you look now, the motorbikes kind of like cover the sign and they don't really uh, give you much of a view of the girls that sat there. You've got a lot of flipping wing mirrors in your face. So I'm gonna elevate that up a little bit. And also it means that when they sit on the sofa here where I'm sat, it stops them falling asleep. Because uh, I caught them a few times now. They like a nap. They do like a nap, but they, they fall asleep. What's it been like working with the girls? This is the first time I've really like worked with the girls as in like as a team. Um, Timekeeping's been an issue, and I know you're probably watching that and laughing, so you should expect that, but timekeeping has been a bit of an issue. Um, what we're doing now is, when you come in, I did mention this before, I mentioned it again. When you come in, the girls will come in with you and you will get a cold towel. Uh, they will take care of you, they'll wipe your face down, your forehead, your neck. Uh, your arms give you a little bit of massage. Do you remember like it used to be in the old days? I think we've missed that. I really do. I think over the years it's kind of just got forgotten and now it's kind of like, let me play my telephone and ignore you and hopefully you'll go away after you bought your beer and I'll still get paid my daily salary. Here, I want to re I want to revisit old old uh, ways. I want you to go back to the good old times. So when you do come in, the girls will uh, come and give you a cold towel. They'll get you a drink. They'll, sit, they'll ask if they can sit down with you. There's no obligation. You don't have to sit with them. Um, but you know, the idea for me is, if the girls take the time to do all that, surely that's got to be worth at least a lady drink. Um, but again, if you come up here, I can explain a lot more about what we can offer you if you do buy a lady a drink. Um, but yeah, it seems to be working really, really well. The girls are fun, they're fun. Um, it's just weird, like, you know, working with a group of girls like we are in, in the close-knit, uh, what's the word, like family kind of style here. Um, yeah, it's been been emotional. We had a couple of days where we had one when uh, Anna went out the night after work, got so plastered she never bothered coming in the next day. Uh, so that was a bit of a testing one for me because obviously I'm not used to that. Um, who else? What were, oh, we had Kitty. Kitty uh, decided to get absolutely leathered uh, the other day, burst into uncontrollable tears, and uh, that was very difficult for me to uh, to manage. I, I've got to say. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a tough one because they, they just get so like emotional. So in the end, I pass it all over to B and said, B, you know, can you uh, help me out with this one? And uh, guess who came to the rescue? Yeah, Beer. Beer came from the dive bar, bless her, love her to bits. She's been so good. Uh, she came up and rescued me and uh, took control of the situation. So uh, the moral of that story is if you're going to cry, make sure you cry properly because Beer ain't going to take no prisoners. Anyway, so that's where we are. Uh, what's the future ahead? Uh, just I want to run out this month, see where we are at the end of it, see what's been good, what's been bad, make a few changes, try and do things the best as we can. Um, we're going to, as I say, put the stickers on. I think that's about it, really. We're just going to plod on and just see where we are come the end of the month. I don't really know what to expect if I'm being truthful. All right, well, there you are. So have a look on Google, uh, Google Maps. I have managed to get the Buzzing Lounge on there. Uh, so if you have been on there, uh, have a look, guys, and uh, you'll see where we are. But like I say, we're up to Soy Chaipu in Soy Bacow, uh, we're right up here opposite Maggie Mays, which is a, a, a go-to place, so you should know where we are. 
Oh well, that's about it I think. So now starts another day uh, and uh, goodness knows what's ahead of me today. All right, there we are. Thank you so much indeed for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. As always, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Have a look on Discord. I update every single day in Discord with the girls. I'm soon going to bring up a, a, a promotional video for the bar, so you'll see that as well. So please have a look on there. Uh, that's all coming together nicely. Uh, if you haven't, have a look at my website, buzzingpate.com. Have a look at our members area, which is on the menu on the left-hand side. And I can show you on there what I can't show you in here. And uh, that's about it, guys. That's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you can still hear me, because all the girls are coming out now and I'm getting overwhelmed. So uh, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.